a guy who, who who has taken a blog and made it put a name on it that I think belongs to me. <laughs> Rob Long, former UConn player, thoughts from a fat white guy. Uh, people see that blog, and I think a lot of people think it's about me, Rob. i got to be honest with you. Listen, I mean, if you want the rights to it, everyone has their price. I'm willing to sell. <laughs> Thank you we very much. Very it. nice. Robert, of course, I, I said Robert. I talked to you off the phone. I said, Robert, you laughed at me. Rob, <laughs> this has been a crazy time in, in the NFL. Players getting signed left and right. couple guys who, who got picked up recently. Couple of former UConn Huskies, Zach Hurd going to Seattle, Scott Lutris going to Jacksonville. Uh, let's talk about Hurd first of all. How do you think he fits in with the Seahawks? I mean, I, I think Zach is, is kind of a he's kind of an anomaly. I mean, this was a weird year for the NFL, like like you said, but his position in terms of what he brings to the field. I think that he was a big question mark. I mean, he had kind of an iffy pro day, so to speak, but the guys that knew him knew what he put down on film. And they always say that, you know, the eye in the sky doesn't lie. Anyone can get underneath a bench press. Anyone, everyone's a superstar in shorts is the old expression. But if you look at the way Zach plays in the field in terms of his mobility, his ability to pull around the edges, they did a lot uh, last season with him. I think that teams saw quite a bit of value in Zach Hurd. In terms of where he fits in with the Seahawks, you know, I, I have no doubt in my mind that he is the kind of guy that has the ability to make it past training camp, to make it into the season. And I see them utilizing Zach this lot, the same way the Giants kind of utilized Will Beattie when he was drafted and uh, at the end of the, excuse me, the 09 draft, which is third down situations, tremendous amount of mobility, but also kind of a wrinkle, maybe third and short, pulling him around the edge, that sort of thing. How about Scott Lutris, who got picked up by Jacksonville, 6'3", 245. How does that size, you think, translate to the NFL this year? Well, Scott, I should start by saying that I'm a little, I'm a little bit biased. Scott is actually one of my uh, oldest and closest friends from UConn. But uh, in terms of him translating to the NFL, I think Scott is the guy that it shocked a lot of people that he wasn't taking, taken in the draft. Um, if you followed his career in terms of the numbers he put up at UConn, bigger numbers than a lot of pro talent to come out of UConn. You look at you know the Alfred Finches of the world playing middle linebacker. His size and his speed and his agility transfer to every facet of the game, whether he's able to you know step into a starting or supporting role outside linebacker. More importantly, coaches being able to use him in a special team situation. His intensity, his love of the game, his passion for the game, all the intangibles. And uh, I tell you what, Scott doesn't get hurt, doesn't have a few of those stingers, stingers or the, uh, the hand injury. Mm-hmm. And you're looking at a uh, third, fourth round draft pick, no questions asked. Well, you bring up the stinger, you know, versus Ohio, the opener in 2009. It, it got him a little bit last year, too. He was suffering a bit. Is he fully healthy right now? Yeah, Scott uh, actually saw him last week, and we were talking about where he thought he might end up. And um, he actually did mention uh, Jacksonville and Miami as two of those schools. He is in better shape than I've ever seen him. Um, you know, if you, if you take the level of play and the kind of you know physicality he brought to the field at UConn, and then combine it with the level of conditioning he has now, you know, working out in Florida in preparation for the combine and the pro day, um, he said that he's never felt healthier. And the other thing you have to consider is that he played that entire season injured, basically, whether mm-hmm. it was stingers or with a hand injury. He he pushed through it. And um, there is no off season in college football, just like there's a very minimal off season in, in pro football. So he didn't really have the kind of time, you know, from the time that he saw, he suffered those injuries his junior year to his senior year to, 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 to heal. And if you, if you look at where he's at now, you take the time to heal, you take the time to rest and recover, I think that uh, Jacksonville got some tremendous value with Scott Lutris. Former UConn defensive tackle Rob Lund joining us and, and using a big word for the, for the fat white guy, physicality. That's a good job <laughs> out of you, let me tell you. Lawrence Wilson, another linebacker drafted by Carolina. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like 52 guys and, and Cam Newton. Will anyone even notice that there's anyone else on the field in Carolina? Listen, Cam Newton's the name, and obviously they saw something. I mean, you don't take a guy you know, with the number one pick unless you think that he can play and uh, more importantly put people in the seats. That being said, they, t- they took Bama, they took him for a reason too. You know, you're investing, you know, millions of dollars in, in, into players. You, you don't do that on a whim. And um, I, I think Bama is just one of those great stories. Really came into his own his last two seasons. Uh, tremendous player, a lot, lot of speed, a lot of agility, great hips. You know, uh, one of the areas for improvement that he knew going into his senior season was getting in the film room, you know, becoming a student of the game, not relying on his physical attributes. And uh, he did that. You know, he became a leader out there on defense. And um, I expect to see him to play Carolina. Again, one of those guys that you hope he, he can step into a starting role. And mm-hmm. even if he can't, you're going to see him on special teams. He, oh. he is a tremendous athlete and, more importantly, a tremendous, a tremendous competitor. 
Uh, another UConn player who was drafted was the 2010 unanimous Big East Conference All Offensive Player of the Year, the running back Jordan Todman, who's in San Diego. What kind of playing time do you, do you think Jordan Todman's going to get? I, I think that Jordan's skill set definitely translates to to the NFL, and a lot of the ways they thought that you know Donnie Brown, you know, obviously coming out uh, after the 2009 International Bowl, the way that his skill set would translate to the NFL in terms of being an every down back, I, I don't know. But um, if you look at like a like a Ray Rice, you know, kind of a, a third down situation, provide that wrinkle, able to get him in, in, into draws, short passes. Tomlin's versatility as well as his, well as his speed and ability to hold on to the ball, I think all those things are, are what you build upon at the next level in terms of you know coaches giving him carries, giving him touches in the NFL. I expect to see Jordan play. Is he going to be an every down back? No. I mean, not to mention that the focus of the NFL has shifted. You know, you don't have the uh, the Emmett Smiths of the world as much as I, or the Thurman Thomases as much as I I wish they did. But Todman uh, Todman provides that versatility. He he shows great poise out of the backfield, and uh, probably a nice little segue for you in terms of. Uh, Boys out of the backfield talking about Anthony Sherman. Yeah, oh boy. You know, it's amazing where the UConn program has come that we can sit here and talk about all these UConn players mm-hmm. in the NFL. There's more to talk about. It, next time, we'll, we'll keep you even longer. We'll talk <laughs> about all the guys out there. Rob Lund, the fat white guy, dot com, one of the funniest blogs out there. I love it, Rob. Thanks for joining us. No, I appreciate you having me.